Welcome to Framework Dancing. This video is an example of the question structures that we use. Just an example, you will be developing your own question structures, but this is to, to help you get started. On the left hand side I've got my Framework Dancing Analysis Sheet. And it's divided into different sections. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be ignoring these two sections down here. A bit more complicated and we'll be looking at that with people later. Right, I'm using um, an actual patient on which I'm doing the analysis. Uh, male, 27 years old. But we're just looking at the question structures at the moment. So really, for the purpose of this video, you don't need to have any other background information. So first of all, I'm asking, where do I begin with this analysis? And I'm using my hand over whole sections of the analysis sheet. Where do I begin with the analysis of patient X? Do I begin with a condition? an area or area of affliction or a remedy. My clockwise movement of the pendulum means yes, an answer, a positive indication, so it's this area of the chart that I need to be doing the further analysis on. So I'll take these sections one at a time. Um, is this remedy a food supplement? A plant essence, a starlight elixir or a mineral elixir. So there's a positive movement of the pendulum on the mineral elixirs. I have two references for the mineral, eli mineral elixirs. One of these is the gem elixir book and the other is looking at different minerals and very basic minerals and their compositions. That includes the elements and lanthanides. So I will ask, is the remedy indicated for patient X listed in this book? And we've got positive reply to that one. And here we have a lovely framework that we can use begins on this page, as you can see it's the index, so it begins on this page, goes through to these two pages. So once again I use my whole hand and I say is the mineral elixir for patient X indicated, indicated on this page? Well it's quite unusual because we only have three at the bottom. So we have, is it abalone, agate, and it's the carnelian agate. And here we, we have written in, in the index the numerical identification for carnelian agate. Mineral elixir. Agate, Carnelian, 7, 3, 6, 2, 7. Right, so I have isolated this mineral elixir for this patient. So the next step of the analysis for me is to find out what, um, what purpose that... Um, this treatment is going to be helping the patient. Um, so I go through the sheet again and I say, is this remedy, is it alleviating a condition? Uh, is it one of these conditions in this bracket? It's one of these in this bracket. Is it a zymoid, a zymosis? So colon, zymosis. 
you can refer back to the website for this. I have a list of all these conditions on the website and a short description of what each of these are. We've isolated as a condition um, a zymosis. So agate carnelian is um, the treatment rate for alleviating this zymosis. We're not finding out what the actual um, fermentation is. I'm going straight into finding out what area is being afflicted by that condition which is this top left hand area. Um, so is this cymosis afflict afflicting um, an item in this bracket? Um, is it a location? Yes. So I refer to my location sheet and here we have um, the different systems of the body located from A to Z um, and as you can see they're in brackets. So we're finding out this information to help the practitioner, myself, and to, to help the patient. So some of this information will be passed on um, if it's going to move that person forward in some way. So zymosis. 777627, is it afflicting a location in one of these two brackets? One of these two brackets, one of these, one of these. Uh, is this cymosis afflicting a location in this bracket? Is it the blood, the cell structure, the muscular system? Now we can go on to actually look at the sheet for the muscular system. I'm just noting it down, muscular system. Um, but for the purpose of this um, video, I'm not going to do that. We're just looking at what, which area is being afflicted. Um, I don't want it to get too complicated and go a bit off course. So having found a treatment rate um, and what that treatment rate is for and um, where the condition is afflicting, um, the next part of the analysis is to do with the treatment and at what level we are treating. And the bottom right hand section of our analysis sheet lists the different subtle bodies and the physical body um, and I usually find out the aspect or the root cause that is causing that uh, debility or affliction. So um, this cymosis, um, is it afflicting the muscular system at the physical level? Um, is this at the mo molecular level? So it looks as though this uh, young gentleman has probably had some sort of muscular strain at some some point that's hanging on or he's had it recently. At the physical aspects, um, at sort of, sorry, at the physical levels I don't find the different aspects. These aspects are usually related to the more subtle bodies. But if it had come up at the etheric level I would be asking if it was at the first aspect, second, third, fourth and fifth. And you'll be able to see that these have um, different labels attached to them, which hopefully makes sense. Um, from moving on from that, so we've got that it's at the physical, the molecular level, and we're looking at uh, the time that we put this treatment rate, at this treatment numerical identification up on the NIDUS multi-treat um, computer treatment uh, program. So I'm saying, is this treatment um, to be as long as 5 minutes, as long as 10 minutes, as long as 15 minutes? So it's as long as 10 minutes, is it as long as 11 minutes, 12, 13? So it's a 12 minute treatment. Um, and how many treatments are indicated? As many as 5? 
10, 15. As many as 10 treatments, 11, 12. 11 treatments. Are there any additional treatments indicated? Right, when I ask are there any additional treatments indicated, um, that is referring to when these 12 treatment, these, these 12 minute treatments, 11 minute, uh, sorry, when these 11 treatments of 12 minutes a time have completed um, once a day, you can sometimes get it so that it's um, every two days. Sometimes there's a further set of treatments indicated and in this patient's case there is. So there's 11 treatments. After those 11 treatments, uh, should the treatment time be as long as 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 6, 7, 8, and how many treatments at 7 minutes? As many as 5, 10, 5, 6, 7, Six treatments are indicated. Are there any further treatments indicated then? Um, is there another item indicated for, for patient X at this point in time? Now when I've when there are no further treatments indicated, quite often I will ask when the next analysis should be completed. That's a, unless a patient phones up and there's, there's new symptoms coming in. Um, so the next analysis, is that to be within a week? Um, three days time? Four, five, six, seven. So six days, <laughs> it could be a week's time. So re I usually put a note on here, recheck six days time and I will be asking for feedback from the patient. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.